Well, we're still here at the Double S Double A Shot Expo. I've got Paul in the T-shirt, and they're going to share some wisdom, some knowledge about the shooting that they do in their disciplines. So, what do you guys actually? What do you do? I do Olympic skeet shooting, Ottawa surf skeet shooting. And I do Olympic track. Excellent. And uh, how did you guys get started in that? Uh, I started shooting when I was about 10 years old. My grandpa took me out to the property uh, yep. first time and uh, I was really scared to shoot the gun. I had one shot and something clicked in my mind, so this is what I really want to do. I uh, progressed through the um, WSLA junior shooters and yep. I went to sporting players, moved on from there, wanted to pursue a big dream and uh, did Ottawa SF Skeet and here we are now. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, my dad got me involved in the sport when I was 15 years old and it was just one of those things where he didn't want me to shoot and I wanted to shoot so it was a bit of reverse psychology and I'm a very competitive person as it is so I just wanted to beat him so probably for a three years we were just you know traveling and competing yep. against each other and then I decided to take it a little bit further and start trench and yeah here I am. Excellent. So what, what sort of advice could you give to, we've got a lot of new new people, new to the sport, what sort of advice can you give them in the, the trap and clay area? Um, just to never give up, always persevere, you know, if, even though you miss a target a fair bit, just um, keep going and you will um, start getting the hang of it and you will start smashing those clays. Yeah. I'd probably say when you're beginning, keep both eyes open. It's, it's hard at the start, but I think it helps in the long run. And also always keep your head on the stock because never lift your head because then you're not shooting what you're looking at. Yep. And yeah, nice. never, never give up. Yep. Yep. Well, what's, your, what's your one favorite story, if you can share a good story with us? Um, the last one, I was at uh, America, the World Cup there, and I made the final oh, of shooting. And um, just the feeling of, um, of being in there, you know, getting the chance to get the gold medal, just that feeling, it's just something you can't explain. But when you're there, you just know what it is and you just want that hunger again and again and again. That's great. Mine was a couple of years ago, I was in Slovenia shooting a World Cup and I was probably five targets to finishing and a European wasp flew up my shorts and bit me on my upper thigh, not once, but twice and I started crying like a little girl because I've never been bitten by anything before and a wasp and apparently European wasps don't die so they no, keep stinging, keep stinging yeah. so yeah that's my story. Yeah. Did you get the clays? No, I missed. Oh, so. <laughs> bugger. That would have finished it off. Would have, been, would have been great. And some safety advice in the field, or if, you, if you're new to um, going out to a new field, like, and you're going to be shooting out there, what's some good tips for beginners that's going to be shooting with a lot of people that probably been shooting for a lot of years out there, just to help them out? Just always, you know, treat the gun that's always loaded, you know, yeah. even and it was, it was when you're hunting as well, you know, never point at anyone, you know, if you have one in the chamber, make sure the safety's on or have the hammer down, there's one that, when you're stalking deer, yeah. and just open and close the bolt. Yeah, probably wear ear protection, I mean, it's not a ma massive thing, but definitely when you're older, yeah, you, yeah it starts to affect you, and yeah, yeah wear glasses, because you never know what's going to ricochet or what's, yeah, what's out there, so. I've been hit in the face by clays plenty of times, so. Yeah, right. <laughs> Any range advice for for people like going new to a range is there any etiquette rules or anything like that of course just treat everyone with respect and um, just speak to the range officer there and they'll help you out you know to see if there's any technical details after um, a hereby yeah I think the main thing if you don't know something ask yeah, of course. yeah. No, very good and you guys shoot any like shoot any rifles or pistols anything like that just or we just all shotgun no i do shoot some rifles i have a seiko 85 xs and 223 i've got a night force uh, NF, nf on top 8x36 a bit, a bit nice. of overkill on top but um hey, why I'm not? Looking, i'll be looking today at some more night forces and i'm just getting my handgun license now buying a 6 lp 226 and 9 mil oh cool so, yeah. i just shoot shotgun just shoot shotgun <laughs> Oh, that's still very good. Well, thank you very much for your knowledge and your wisdom and uh, yeah, joining us, and I hope you guys learn a fair bit. So tune in. We've got some more footage coming up. Thanks for that.